quick video. How do you find the domain of fraction functions? You might call them rational functions. Well, when you're looking for domain, you're looking for the bad places of a function. And since it's a fraction, what can't we do with fractions? Well, we can't divide by zero. So our domain will be everything except where we divide by zero. So let's solve for where we do divide by zero. That's when the denominator would equal zero. And so I had better ensure that this does not happen, right? The bottom is not allowed to be zero. It's easy enough to solve, simply add five to both sides, and there we go, we have the domain. X cannot be five. Anything else is good. You can be zero in the top, it's just, if we were to plug in 5, we would be dividing by 0. We'd get 5 minus 5 is 0 in the denominator. That's no good. If you want to write this in interval notation, all the numbers except 5, you would write minus infinity, comma 5, parenthesis. The parenthesis because we're not including. You would use a u for union. It's a mathematical way of saying or 5 to infinity. So this says all the numbers up to 5, or all the numbers after 5. That's the domain of this function.